signs the order in Washington, we have local experts right here in Metro Detroit doing the research about climate change. Our Paula Tutman checked with them about what the president's new order means for all of us. There's a scientist here at Oakland University who says he's looking at the data and what he says indicates that nothing humans are doing is affecting climate change. Yet here at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, there's a scientist who's looking at the exact same data and coming up with an entirely different point of view. In this corner at Oakland University, Dr. Professor Chris Kobus, a fluid thermal scientist in the engineering department who's been studying climate for decades. Every year ice gets packed down to get Get another layer of ice every winter, right? If you look at the gases that are trapped in that ice as it gets packed down, you can back out what the climate was. In this corner, University of Michigan, Dr. Professor Mark Bartow, director of the Energy Institute, who has been studying climate for decades. Levels of CO2 are essentially the debt we've incurred. And each year that this continues, we're running a deficit and continuing to build up that debt. And the, the carrying cost of that debt is measured not in dollars but in degrees. Both with diametrically opposed views of climate change and rolling back the clock with the president's executive order. Well, whatever the politicians are doing hasn't affected climate change one way or the other. Whatever regulations that the past administration under President Obama put in place was not going to make any difference. And whatever's being repealed by President Trump is not going to make any difference. Trump's casting this in the form of energy independence is nonsense. The U.S. is already about 90 percent energy independent in terms of the advertising that this will bring back the coal industry and create jobs for coal miners. It's really a, a very cruel joke. Coal is not coming back. One believes this is the natural variables of the planet. The other believes this is man-made. Everything that we do globally contributes to the CO2 emission in the atmosphere by about 4 percent which means 96% of emissions into the atmosphere is natural. The oceans are the number one source of CO2 emissions, decaying vegetation, number two, human activities, 4%. Dr. Bartow sees the numbers differently. Emitting from fossil fuels about 34 gigatons of carbon dioxide a year, that's 34 billion tons. Nearly a half of the amount of CO2 that results from our fossil fuel burning uh, winds up in the atmosphere every year. Both will tell you that the experts cherry pick the data, leaving all of us non-scientists with fruit we may not truly understand and a final outcome few of us may actually live long enough to see. Paula Tutman, Local 4.